When you look at this picture of Justin Compton posing with a fan, what difference do you immediately notice between the two? Aside from the obvious difference in muscle mass, Justin Compton also has significantly more mass in his face. However, Justin Compton is by no means the only bodybuilder to display this moon face phenomenon. Phil Heath, Kai Green, Dorian Yates, Rich Piano, Roly Winkler, the list goes on. This facial fullness cannot be explained simply by fat and water retention in the off season, as even at single digit body fat percentages, the moon face phenomenon still persists. With the usual solution to achieving a chiseled face being to lose body fat, why is it that these shredded bodybuilders have such enlarged faces? And is there anything that can be done to reverse it? The first and most important cause is due to the use of human growth hormone. Growth hormone affects almost every tissue in the body, including muscles, bones, and connective tissue. The face contains 42 muscles that control facial expression, chewing, blinking, etc. Hypertrophy of these facial muscles coupled with growth of the facial bones are the main cause behind the steroid induced moon face. This phenomenon is demonstrated in patients with a medical condition called acromegaly. Acromegaly is Greek for large extremities. It is caused by a tumour of the pituitary gland in the brain, resulting in the overproduction of endogenous growth hormone. Like these bodybuilders, patients with acromegaly display coarse facial features and a large protruding mandible. Fun fact, Jaws from the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me had acromegaly. This theory also makes sense, as the prevalence of the moon face phenomenon in bodybuilders coincides with the start of the mass monster era in the late 80s and early 90s, when bodybuilders such as Dorian Yates first started taking growth hormone. The second reason is due to the use of anabolic steroids. Anabolic steroids cause water retention and facial fat deposition. To understand why, it is first important to look at the physiology of steroids. Steroids are a class of hormone that are derived from cholesterol. There are several types of steroids steroids, each of which has a wide variety of functions. From the development of secondary sex characteristics, to fluid and electrolyte regulation, to regulation of the immune system, muscle, fat and bone metabolism. As they all have a similar molecular structure, at high enough concentrations, one type of steroid can bind to and stimulate the receptor of a different type of steroid. As such, at high enough concentrations, anabolic steroids can exert a mineralocorticoid effect, resulting in sodium and water retention. Similarly, they can exert a glucocorticoid effect, resulting in facial fat deposition. This phenomenon is demonstrated in patients with a medical condition called Cushing's syndrome. Named after the neurosurgeon who first described it, Cushing's is caused by an increase in glucocorticoids, the main one being cortisol, which is released in response to psychological stress. Like acromegaly, Cushing's is usually caused by a pituitary gland tumour, resulting in an increase in the production of cortisol. Cushing's syndrome patients classically develop a moon face, buffalo hump, and truncal obesity as a result of steroids effects on body fat metabolism and distribution. Anabolic steroids with strong estrogenic properties such as dianabol and anadrol have been shown to cause the most water retention and facial fat deposition. So is there anything that can be done to reverse the moon face phenomenon? The answer is yes, however, to do so involves stopping all anabolic steroids and growth hormone. This has been shown in Dorian Yates, who stopped taking anabolic steroids and growth hormone once he retired from professional bodybuilding and his face has completely returned to normal. This is due to a natural process called disuse atrophy, otherwise known as the use it or lose its effect. If a muscle is not being sufficiently stimulated, it will naturally waste away. Although this process can be prevented by anabolic steroids, once they are stopped, it is allowed to continue.